Hello fellow Dodal Warriors, I am Zardar and welcome to another online battle from Warhammer 2. So this time we're playing as the Empire and we're up against uh, the freaking sturdy dwarves. So let's see what I brought and how I countered their foul play of uh, freaking geometry style. Anyway, so for the front line I got three units of spearmen. Uh, being backed by one, two, three great swords and the Sigma Suns. I think they're like quite an excellent unit. The Sigma Suns, like just having that unbreakable anchor into any part of your uh, of the ongoing battle, I think is one of the most effective things to have on your side. I get two warrior priests, which are gonna be buffing the infantry fight with their skills which is gonna be the Seal of Faith from for the damage resistance and the Hammer of Sigmar along with Benediction making these guys fight almost till the last man and uh, the Banner of Eternal Flame providing some increased weapon damage. So for my leadership, uh, besides that I get... where the hell is he? Okay, yeah, we get Balthazar on his Pegasus which uh, he's gonna be having the Staff of Lance Arcane Conduit, Final Transmutation and actually the Plague of Rust. So over back here I got uh, the, uh, what's the name, uh, Zindler's Right Guard, just Punker deployed behind that mountain because I thought he wouldn't be able to see me but obviously he can and uh, he's just gonna turn around his uh, organ gun anytime soon and just gonna completely decimate that unit. But the uh, the butter and for uh, the butter for this army is the Demigriff Knights but not the uh, the halberd variant. I have the uh, the anti infantry one, <coughs> which these guys are actually causing terror. Yeah, just terror. And uh, yeah, the <laughs> I don't know why I picked them, but uh, I felt like okay, why not uh, just do this? Let's see how they're gonna perform. So I brought two of these units, and as you can see early on, I just tried to get a charge on these miners, just clean them up real quick. Quite a good charge on these boys, a lot of weapon strength, uh, some high melee attack, not that great but still good. And they're just gonna be doing some work against these boys. So, for the enemy's army, as you can see, some miners with blasting charges in the front line. The uh, warriors of Dragonfire Pass, some more dwarf warriors over here, the organ gun. Uh, long beards with great weapons on both sides, just one dragon back slayer. Two units of Thunderers along with Ulthar's Raiders in order to provide that uh, marked by Ulthar which lowers the armor, missile resistance and missile parry which opens up uh, the option for these guys to just completely decimate any target. For his leadership he's got a Rune Lord with... what rune is that? Just one rune? Rune of Wrath and Ruin for the slow effect and just one runesmith back here with also Wrath, Wrath, of, uh, Wrath and Ruin scroll uh, rune as well and this guy as well, this guy as well too. So yeah, this is pretty much his whole army, let's begin. So over here just uh, yeah, get occupied with just uh, fighting off these blasting charges. Unfortunately the great swords are gonna have to just uh, stay here and fight them. He obviously has them on guard mode because even engaged they're still shooting their freaking blasting charges and uh, just getting these great swords to a great peril. So over here just get uh, Balthazar in the front because I really want to target the organ gun with the final transmutation because lately I've seen that the final transmutation is actually quite excellent at taking down uh, models specifically. And I really want to see that. Did we actually manage to get any model down? Yes we did. One is all is down already and another one so it actually does uh, does some work like only one organ gun remains with just one final transmutation which actually did a lot of work in the uh, nearby units even this uh, runesmith got uh, some damage done but as you can see the organ gun just with a few shots have just decimated the Zintler's right guard which are almost down not almost they're down to half health just uh, fighting to get over here and uh, just seeing these dragon back slayers i'm just gonna turn around and just get the hell off from here i'm not gonna engage so over here we get a charge into these uh, long beards with great weapons with the demigriff knights just a real quick one i'm gonna be falling back and i'm just gonna bring the other one to get a charge in the uh, warriors of dragon fire pass over here <coughs> if i'm correct or oh, i'm gonna go for the thunders he was uh, because they, they lost the line of sight and they were actually overextending, getting him to the front lines. And uh, yeah, they just uh, lost their effectiveness, uh, effectiveness over there. 
Right, uh, Zintler's Reichsguard are completely getting destroyed by the organ gun and the freaking Bagman's Rangers. And uh, the battle is going rather well so far. Balthazar get a uh, guild just with a few shots with uh, marked by Ul uh, Ulthar is actually just getting destroyed. He actually had some vanguard deployed rangers back there which uh, I, I think he was expecting for some cannon plays so uh, that's why he most likely brought this. The Demigriff Knights are gonna get uh, to, I'm gonna try to get around in order to just get some back charges. Just clean up these Thunderers because I really don't want them coming back. Just a few units can cause some trouble. He's throwing, throwing off some mines over here, blasting charges I mean, to get my uh, Demigriff Knights. Or was it Axis? I think it was Axis, yeah. Both was uh, Raiders over here. Oh, so these guys get armor piercing, right? So yeah, they did uh, quite some work. Um, I'm gonna get on the flanks and I immediately I'm gonna try to, yeah, I'm just gonna try to get around. I'm gonna send the great swords fighting the Dwarf Warriors. And the Demigriff Knights are gonna try to get into the Organ Gun, which there is only one remaining. So now the Zintler's Reichsguard will finally catch up to over here. Some skills and spells from the Warrior Priests are going down, which are uh, Hammer of Sigmar putting these Spearmen actually to 48 melee attack and uh, plus 22% damage resistance. Where's some great swords over here? 60 melee attack with 35 weapon strength. That's gotta be a lot. So these guys are just gonna be decimating the front line. But uh, yeah, the steadiness of the dwarves uh, is still not gonna be uh, doing a lot of uh, damage. So I see that these thunders are gonna be coming back online. So I'm just gonna send these damn griff knights to get them real quick and just uh, engage these dragon back slayers with the great swords, which are gonna do some work because these guys don't have armor piercing, and uh, yeah, they're gonna struggle against all that armor. So over here, I got the uh, damn griff knights engaging with the thunders and uh, the organ gun and the bagman's rangers at the same time which is uh, quite a nice pick great swords have managed to just break through and are fighting uh, all four raiders at the moment which is uh, a win on win on me and this whole pocket is doing quite well over here well these spearmen are getting dragged down but the warriors of dragonfire pass are down to 40 men so uh, why the hell do these guys okay they had like uh okay i just uh, yeah messed up over there Balance of Power still dead even, uh, probably because um, freaking Gelt is all beat up. Where is he by the way? Where is Gelt? Yeah, he's up here just uh, fighting these Thunders, just keeping them occupied so my guys can do the uh, their job. And uh, the Zintler's right Scott, I think I should have kept them going after the Runesmith over here. The Demigriff Knights with the help of the Great Swords are gonna be doing some work on the Bagman's Rangers. And I'm just gonna keep uh, trying to cycle charge them. As soon as I see that the Thunders are back online, I'm just gonna give the order to go after them. And this is pretty much a grindy fight. Like, the Bounce of Power is actually against my favor, even though that I have completely uh, managed to break through all of his uh, line, just uh, get into his archers, his organ gun. But as you can see, the Demigriff Knights are really low. I don't think I should have brought Balthazar Gelt with this build. I think a Jade Wizard should have been a better choice, because these expensive units need some healing like uh, this is the way to go uh, Sealed of Faith is going down I think uh, a Battle of Sigma is gonna be followed We're gonna, uh, yeah right no okay so over here we clean off this uh, last uh, warrior I mean uh, long beards with great weapons some dwarf warriors remaining the slayers are desperately <laughs> trying to get to the Demigriff Knights but I'm just gonna roll out just uh, since uh, I'm gonna be chased I'm just gonna be trying to clean up uh, the uh, rallying units the same is gonna be happening over here I need these old Wars Raiders gone so I'm just gonna commit and uh, just try to kill every last one of them then next is the organ gun along with the Thunderers and is anything running towards here nope just some rallying units uh, one warrior priest is actually not doing that well, but I'm just gonna be collapsing with all the troops that I have over here Just to have all the buffs that I need from the warrior priests in order to do some work The rune lord is actually quite beaten up and his leadership is actually tanking at the moment just down to uh, It doesn't say it's down to 1000 HP and minus uh, 11 minus 23 just dropping and there he go he completely broke finally the bounce of power the first time in the uh, in the match uh, in my favor 
These Demon Griff Knights are just gonna be trying to completely clean the back line. The Slayers are still on hot pursuit. I'm just gonna keep running away. I'm gonna get the charge on these miners. Gonna send some infantry to back them up. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be going rather well so far. Right now, all I'm trying to do is just keep off from these Dragon Bus, uh, Dragon Back Slayers. And with the rest of the units, I'm just gonna be cleaning the chaff. I sent Balthazar Geld to clean the Rune Lord because uh, even Balthazar Geld is down to 500 hit points. But if he stays on top of him, he won't be able to get me. Unfortunately, the Runesmith is, uh, has come back and some Bugman Rangers. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna be sending the uh, Demigriff Knights anytime soon because I really don't want him shooting Balthazar Geld with just 500 HP. The infantry fight is going rather well. Uh, Dragon Bug Slayers are the only thing still fighting. I still have one Battle Priest which is gonna be providing the Hammer of Sigmar and the Damage Resistance. And uh, so these great swords are just gonna be doing quite alright. Even the spearmen, like uh, just with that plus 22 melee attack, is gonna be doing some work. So we clean off the Bagman's Rangers. Now we're gonna go for the Rune Smith. He's gonna be quite hard. This guy is not gonna be going down rather easily. Balthazar Geld is continuously just trying to kill the Rune Lord, but he actually freaking fails. Like it's taking a lot of time. I should be getting back here, but if I let these guys run back, perhaps I'm gonna lose the battle, because uh, that uh, Dwarven Rally might prove pivotal now that I, uh, my Demigriff Knights are all beaten up and I don't have any heal to boost them up. A lot of rallying units, he is bringing his last ranges that uh, he most likely forgot due to the intest intensive play over here. And he's gonna start shooting, and uh, yeah, what remains over here? Just 7 Dragon Bass layers. 22 long beards with the uh, beaten up runesmith and some blasting charges over there. And still I'm trying to get rid of this runesmith and he just won't freaking die like 19 hit points and there he goes down finally. Balthazar Geld has almost, yep, the, now the uh, rune lord actually finally breaks with 161 HP. The Demigriff knights are gonna be free to come back here. Uh, and uh, since that rune lord went out these rangers even at full health they were actually shattered and uh, even if they didn't like these damn griff knights would just come over here and just tear them apart and all i will do is just get a back charge into these two literally slayers that are still fighting um yeah just two they didn't die from that charge okay quite uh, some uh, quite some champs over there and uh, I think this is gonna be it, like uh, nothing remains and the Pyrrhic victory. So from what I understood, I think the uh, freaking Demigriff Knights with uh, the anti-infantry variant, I think they're quite freaking excellent against the Dwarves or any uh, heavy based uh, faction. I think I'm gonna be testing them out against the Skaven as well. I'm really anxious to see how many kills are they gonna get, like 100 kills is a freaking lot. Um, uh, to get from the Dwarven uh, realm, because uh, they're just uh, they're just not dying fast enough. You saw that with the Runesmith, I spent <laughs> like a freaking whole minute just trying to kill that guy off and he just wouldn't die. 90 kills for Balthazar Geld, probably because of that final transmutation, and he actually got the organ gun almost destroyed. Uh, I don't know if it's worth it though, just uh, spending 28 uh, Winds of Magic in order to destroy 2 out of 3 pieces, but still. Anyway, the Spearman did okay, and the Greatswords, oh my dear lord, just look at the kill count with the backup of the Warrior Priests over here. They were like absolutely nailing it, and with the Sigma Sons, they were even better. I think I'm just gonna... the uh, Zintler Reichsguard was actually a waste over here, I don't think you need them, to be honest. Next time I'm gonna be cutting these guys down, probably get a, an extra Greatsword, and we'll see how it goes from there. So for my opponent, quite a nice build, I really liked it, competitive style, it really did some work, as you see, as you saw it was just a Pyrrhic victory, I didn't uh, win this by uh, a large margin, it was quite close, but still we did well. So I really hope you enjoyed guys, feel free to leave a like or a comment, feel free to subscribe if you're not, and I'm gonna be seeing you last uh, next time. Did I say just last time? Oh my god. Anyway, bye bye.